A school district is preparing for its first teacher strike in its history. On Monday, about 600 educators plan to walk the picket lines in Union City and South Hayward. KPIX 5's Da Lin is live at James Logan High School with how teachers and students are preparing for the strike. Da? Right, less than a month left in the school year. A lot of students at James Logan, they worry that a long strike could hurt their grades and college admission. But teachers here say the strike is about retaining good teachers and ultimately improving education. A lot of coordinating, stapling, and taping as teachers make the signs they'll carry on Monday. I feel ready to go and still anxious and nervous. Eileen Pactacon says she'd rather teach than to walk the picket line. But she says the high cost of living makes it very tough for her and her fiance. Both are teachers in the New Haven Unified School District. If we go on strike, we're both prepared for the consequences that are ahead. Roughly 600 teachers, counselors, and nurses in Union City and South Hayward plan to go on strike Monday. They want a 10% raise over two years. Some people question the timing since students go on summer break next month. It's more helpful to have it now rather than later. We also know there is, is no great time for a strike. It's about the impact of what we can get our message across. We just want to support our teachers. So in not coming to school, we're doing that. Some students plan to stay home, but not all students agree with their teachers. These teachers like chose their profession. They knew what they were getting into. James Logan High School senior Austin Wara sides with the district. New Haven Unified says they have no more money. They say their teachers are the highest paid in Alameda County, averaging about $96,000 a year. If I want to get my final transcript and all that, that might be delayed for some time, so I'd have to contact the college. The district has about 11 to 12,000 students. Now, both sides could still avert a strike before Monday. It's looking unlikely, though, at this point, because they're not having any kind of uh, negotiating sessions before Monday. The district will have substitutes and administrators to keep the schools open. Live in Union City, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.